excellent family. This is Yanka, and I am happy that you're here. Welcome back. It's been about um, a year that we've been unschooling and five years total of homeschooling. And I must say, I'm very um, pleased with our progress from last year to this year. The kids have grown in so many aspects, and um, there are still a couple of areas that um, that can use some improvement. But overall, I'm very pleased. This week, we welcomed um, spring, so we, we've been spending pretty much all week outdoors, um, just doing outdoorsy things, even doing our work, our written or formal part of school, um, outside on our porch and going to the park and just spending just the entire day. Um, you know, I brought out Play-Doh, we did some um, work with chalk, the sidewalk chalk, and um, we've been doing STEM projects. My um, mom bought some STEM things, so we went out to her on a field trip to grandma's and um, built those different things. So they've really enjoyed that. Kids have been ripping and running. So you'll see like the little footage of all this stuff. Um, but the the where we went hiking, we went, um, I think of April of last year was the first time. So we typically go around April, but it was such a nice week that we got out early. And so it was still snow on the ground, but um, it, was, it was warm in the air. So yesterday I went to the dollar store and did a little haul. Um, just picked up, like they have these um, body carts and just different type of learning carts that I think are so, we have these little decks on them. So we got those and actually went through the whole deck on the human body. We baked and decorated cookies. That's always good for um, math, always, always, always. And you know, sequential order measurement. Oh, and Papa Jim got them a new uh, pogo stick. So they have been um, really working at that. And I'm just impressed with how they stuck with like my um, first son. He just kept going, kept going. And now he's really good at it. And, uh, and that was just, they got it a few days ago. And my um, my second son, he, he, he just got the hang of it today. So that's been pretty fun to watch. We're still reading through um, the Book of Kings. And we've just like been taking that slow because they ask like so many questions. <laughs> and so I don't try to rush through the book, you know, just, okay, we're gonna read this chapter today and this chapter, I just read and then discussion comes and then I'll just, you know, stop there. And we just um, discuss that because they, they, oh my God, kids have so many questions. Today we watched the clouds blow across the sky. So you had like a, it went from cloudy to, um, rain, uh, no, yeah, it was cloudy and then it went to a nice clear blue sky. And then you, we watched the clouds blow across the sky and you had the um, dark clouds um, come back in and the white clouds. So we spent a great deal of the most, about half of the day watching, you know, and just playing outside. We tried out um, a couple of uh, varsity tutor classes and my boys found them boring. So, um, you know, that wasn't that great, but there was actually a class that um, Wild Things Are or Where the Wild Things Are art class. My daughter, my five-year-old, really enjoyed that, and that teacher had such a great personality. They've also been doing Zern for math, just extra, but they're working through their workbooks still. I'm just doing a couple of um, each day, and this, I like that because it actually gives me time to work on, you know, each one one-on-one, -on -one, and it's not overwhelming. And so while they're doing that, the kids are, you know, the other ones are doing other activities. So as you guys know, my boys love to build their Legos and all their different blocks. And my husband challenged them to um, build with purpose. So you know, they build all these little Lego cities and things. And, you know, he challenged them, okay, how are you going to make money with that? So <laughs> they've been building, like my um, one son, he built his little city with his uh, um, burger place and that, was, that way he gets to eat burgers and somebody or he gets to eat his burgers free and still have an income. So it's just fun to watch them build these things and then they, they're they now building with purpose. So those are the few things um, we've been doing this month. It's just um, been a, a fun month. We got out, um, got our plane back so we went for a flight. The kids, uh, their most exciting thing was to uh, wear their new hair, ear muffs. I put out that video, I think, about two weeks ago. I may link it so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it yet. And we've been going to the Y because we hadn't been there in a while. And my son 
He's like, I, I want to go, you know, to the Y. So we called um, and we just started going again, just going to the gym because pretty much that's all that it, that's open to them right now. A gym and the, um, they can go swimming, but um, it's a little, it was still a little chill. We've been playing basketball and duck, duck, goose and London Bridge motorcycle, uh, doing cartwheels and round offs and just any all those things we can think of. So that's our update for our homeschool. I am so happy that it's spring and we get to be outdoors more and we are all loving it right now. So tell me about your school and how you guys um, are enjoying your spring. So thanks for watching ladies. That's it for now. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.